Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com and thanks for joining me for the 100th Hobzine video beer review. We're back where it all started, at the table, in the living room, surrounded by the bottles and also with another beer from Southern Tier Brewing Company in Lakewood, New York. The first beer I ever reviewed on this channel was um, Southern Tier's Creme Brulee. This is also a, a um, part of their Blackwater series and it is their chocolate. It is 11% ABV. I'm probably going to end up drinking this all myself. It's a Sunday. I may regret this. Anyway, 100 reviews. It's been about a year and a half, something like that. I thought, I had, I had loads of ideas what I was going to do for my 100th review, and I thought, let's go back to where it all began, at the table with Southern Tier. Anyway, in the glass, it is, got quite a bright light here, it's very black, absolutely black, no, um, no kind of light getting through that at all, the head, kind of mid-brown I'd say. Quite a tight head, not super creamy, but really nice and tight. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Oh, fuck. Whoa! <laughs> um, I've been sitting on this for a while. I always wanted to review it. Uh, Chad of Chad's Beer Reviews always said this, I think this was always his favourite of that range. And I've had, the, I've had the Java and I've had the Mocha. But wow, I haven't had the chocolate yet. <sighs> wow, it's it's cho <laughs> it smells like chocolate. It smells like a real heavy chocolate. It hasn't got that kind of like really burnt edge that you sometimes get with Imperial Stouts. So that obviously they haven't used like chocolate content, like additional chocolate content. It's all from the malls. But the, sometimes you get quite a dry kind of bitter chocolate. But the, the aroma is quite a sweet chocolate but in a weird way it doesn't it doesn't smell like chocolate like chocolate chocolate if i had a bar of chocolate now it doesn't smell like that i guess if you liquid liquefied chocolate and put it in a 11 percent imperial stout it smell like that it's got quite a strong um caramel edge to it as well i shared a bottle of the creme brulee with family on um on christmas day and they they were wild for it and to be honest i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to find some of this because they'll go crazy for it as well. It's one of those beers, as with the creme brulee, a lot of people criticise creme brulee for being a bit a bit um, too sweet. Obviously I haven't tried this yet, but it's hot, but you can just sit there and smell it for ages if you want, because it does. Wow, that smells incredible. Anyway, I'm four minutes in, and I even taste it. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> I picked a good one. I picked a good one. This really doesn't disappoint. Really, really, really doesn't disappoint. The Mocha is top draw. The Java, yeah. I, I shared that with some friends. It, it's pretty good. It's a, a, a coffee stout. Creme brulee, awesome. This is this is seriously special. I've been trying to cut down my video length, but I'm sorry, this one isn't going to be five minutes. That is absolutely divine. Wow. And, really, and, and doesn't hang around too much as well. Wow. Anyway, right, focus. Let's think about what we're drinking here. Anyway. Oh, it really creeps up on you. The 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 um the body is is relatively full actually, but it's not heavy. It kind of slips down. It's not velvety. It's not like smooth, but it just kind of slips down really nicely. And then it starts crawling in as that chocolate. Initially, it's a bit more like um, um, cacao nibs. Uh, if you've ever kind of, because uh, I brewed with them, if you kind of like chew on them a bit, you, you get that flavour. It's quite, a, it's like a dry, bitter 
chocolate, but it's not, but without that kind of additional kind of buttery element to it, or creamy. Yeah, as I said before, it's got those elements that the creme brulee does. It has a, a really kind of strong, heavy uh, caramel quality. It's not like treacle. It's not as it's not as bitter as that. It's real smooth, luxurious caramel. It's love. It is absolutely storming. Is this? I want to save this some for me, some of this for my wife when she gets back. But I don't think it's going to last, and I'm worried what it's going to do to me. Yeah. It ends, when it's ending, it becomes a little bit more dry. With a hint of maybe vague kind of coffee bitterness. Only a touch though, only a real touch of bitterness in there. This beer isn't super sweet. Some people, as I said before, think the uh, creme brulee is a bit too sweet. I don't think it is. A lot of people might think this is a bit too sweet. It's not too sweet for me. It's really nice. As far as chocolate beers go, this is, this is the best specifically chocolate beer that you will ever taste. It's the best one I've ever tasted. It's seriously special. It's very unique. I know there's a lot of kind of, probably a little bit some bats on here. They've probably added like some, they've probably added chocolate to this as well as the kind of like chocolate malts and all that kind of jazz. Oh, here we go. Two row barley, uh, caramels 60 malt, uh, fl barley flakes of so flake barley, chocolate malt, bittersweet Belgian chocolate, and the kettle hopped it with ch Chinook and Willamette. I'm sure those hops are playing their role, though they're adding a little bit, a tiny bit of bitterness, keeping it balanced, not making it too heavy and cloying. But this is. This is pretty seriously amazing beer. It really is. It's unlike anything I've ever had. And it is streets ahead of anything that tries to think it's a chocolate beer. This is truly the chocolate beer that you should be trying if you're no chocolate beer. It just is. It's an absolute corker. I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Anyway, let's pull this to a end. An end. Draw this to a close. I'm Rob from Popzine.com. Thanks for joining me for my 100th uh, video beer review. Thanks for joining me for the previous 99. And let's see where this goes. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers.